if you ever run to a problem where your sealer turns hazy white like this, you can see the white spots. If you ever have that problem, it's because there's too much moisture in the concrete, or maybe the sealer was applied and the, the surface was still moist. So what happens is you get a lot of moisture trapped inside of the, the inside the concrete below the sealer, and then it turns this sort of hazy white. So what we're gonna do today is show you how to fix that. And we're gonna use a product. Uh, it's a xylene. I wouldn't uh, recommend that everyday homeowners use this. I would look into all of your specifications and find out maybe there's another solution or, or something that's a little bit more environmentally friendly. This is the only thing I can find and I've been doing this a uh, little over 15 years. If anybody has an idea of what else we can use, please let me know. You're gonna wanna use a respirator just like this. I recommend a 3M. Stainless steel. Stainless steel sprayer is a good option as well. Do. Now what I'm gonna do is apply a sealer on top of the anti-slip coating or sorry compound and then uh, if we need to reapply we can do that depending on how it turns out so we're going to use a non-slip compound to create an anti-slip surface for the driveway so we're going to put that on the on the border right here all the way up so what you're going to want to do is just sprinkle a little bit on I always use xylene to clean out the sprayer because the, uh, the acrylic sealers will build up like a hard glue inside of the sprayer canister and inside of the wand. And I also dip this brass nozzle in xylene as well to make sure it's, uh, it's good for next time. 